was Beth Griffith, you just heard, Ms. Bern Nix, Andrew Wolotowski, I'm Lenore Von Stein, and this is The Facts. Uh, and uh, this episode, I, I, I think I'm, I'm going to call it Static Memories. It's about, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at, at ideas that don't change, um, that I, I, I can't budge them. And of course, since I've been working on this, they have been budging because I've been thinking about them, so they're moving. So th it can be done. It can be done. And uh, excuse me, I was looking in the wrong place, but now you see me. And uh, so. Um <laughs> I get, I get very angry. I get, I get frustrated. I guess I get, I get very angry. I, I'm just going to tell you, you know, we're moving from music to words and music, and sort of like a musical. <laughs> anyway, I, I get very frustrated and angry when, when people pretend not to see um, what they do see or remember what I know they remember. Or, you know, put two and two together clearly, you know, straightforwardly as they can, as I see them do on other subjects. And I, it's, it's, it's like somebody's pulling my skin off. You know, I, I don't know if you have a lot of experience with this, but my life is littered with, uh, with experiences like this. <laughs>
Maybe it's, it's, it's a form of diplomacy. My, my mother was uh, fairly uh, incommunicado for many years. Her, her conversation was one of the terms that she would use, wishy-washy. She became very wishy-washy. Uh, but at the memorial service for my father, I knew when she walked in the room, she had, she had changed these, kind, these drab suburban clothes that she had adopted, even though she wasn't suburban, and was wearing sharp clothing again. And she was, and she was, she was clear-headed and direct. She was, was rapier. I said, this was the chick that was always there. And she, she, she got all mumbly and, you know, while talking for, you know, 20 years. <laughs> wow.
I'm going to read something that James Baldwin wrote, a favorite author of mine. He wrote this in a story, a stranger in a, in a village when he was in Switzerland. And he's talking about, well, anyway, this is what he said. People who shut their eyes to reality invite their own destruction. And anyone who insists on remaining in a state of innocence long after innocence is dead turns himself into a monster. He was talking, Baldwin was talking about American racism, the white culture's maintenance of the oblivion of the humanity of people of color, their human weight. to the story. A tool of oppressors, you know, in bullying situations, a, a, a good tool for oppressors is that the victims cannot believe this has happened to them, you know, what's happening to them. Because if it's, if it's the victim's fault, at least you have some control. Stella by Starlight. Yes. 
Because that was a beautiful ring. I know more than I don't know. What I feel I'm passionate to some Goya, this, the Spanish painter Goya, he, he drew pictures of people as monsters as, as he went on. First he was as a court painter, that's how he, he, he made his living, and then as he got freer he, he drew people as monsters. And he lived through the Spanish Inquisitions and, and wars, and he, he chronicled the war atrocities and... Um, <laughs> decades I was I was furious with my parents and and now my anger is uh, is waning because I'm curious about about I'm curious about what it was like to be them okay we got a little music issue yeah. here um, and um, so the next thing we're going to play is finding dad and uh, uh, it's about my parents <laughs>
back to some of the story. Giving up my fury against my parents is not, it's not, it's not that I'm, I'm, I'm betraying myself by allowing my anger to dilute. I'm, I'm not so angry at them anymore. I, I have a friend she, who's very loyal, but she's so loyal, it, I don't know, it may not be such a good thing. I mean, it's, you know, it's blind. And um, so, um, um, you know, one method to ameliorate pain is to fuzz the details of what's happening. Uh, you know, what somebody's willing to do to you, you know, whether, whoever that is, whether it's, you know, somebody you care about or, or you know, some official or, you know, somebody, whatever, you know, and, and, and so, you know, this is, this is operating on the assumption that you can, you can change the situation makes it less scary, less disheartening, but, you know, this is, it may be false, you know, and, and a false, idea so it's it's you know and it's a tool again that the bullies use you know you, you can't believe it you can't believe it you can't afford to believe it <laughs> um, was, was uh, I, the, the words come directly from an incident I heard at uh, the Starbucks on 125th Street um, and Lennox, I think, I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, Does it hurt? Only when I laugh. <laughs> 